three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and a swimming pool. That's right, I have a swimming pool here in New York City. Get in the car right now. He don't even know who in this bitch. What he doing? Bro, what the f you doing? <laughs> what up? Oh! It's pretty boy! It's pretty boy! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> they call this the muck right here, man. This is where I'm from. I grew up right in these streets right here as a kid in foster home, and I went through some like really crazy dark times here and uh, I kind of resented this place for a long time because it was so rough for me but being where I am today it just feel amazing to come back reflect and you know give back to the city in any way that I possibly can so this is really like is it you're in a small city you don't got shit and it, it ain't really nothing to do but so that make you want to go breaking people houses and shit like that wild yeah. people most people around here are not gonna give it up so don't eat it. Go to jail for the rest of your life. Make a choice. They either eat or be ate. I do like this jacket though. You want to race for the jacket? Yeah. Hold on, let me show you. Alright, let's go. Let's do it. You got my dog out here? Oh! oh. I almost beat him. I always told myself if I can't go back to the city that made me and interact with the people that are still there, then none of this is worth it. Because at the end of the day, these kids look at me as hope that one day that they can make it from here as well. And before I left my old city, I had to make a little stop at a very familiar place. This is my old room. My exact childhood room that I grew up in. Literally. This is giving me chills right now. Yeah, like, oh my god. There used to be a bunk bed right here, mm -hmm. and there used to be a bunk bed up here. And I used to sleep at the top of the bunk bed. I might be at a different point in my life now, but some of my happiest times right. was what's right here. Like, that's the crazy thing about it. And uh, I don't think a lot of people know that. Like, it's not always the destination of where you're going, sometimes it's the journey, man. The journey of where you're going is like the best part of it all. To think that some of my happiest times came in this place right here only confirms to me that it's less about what you have, but more about the impact you can have on others with what you have. That is the key to life. Man, y'all stay out these streets. You know what I'm saying? Stay in school and uh, keep yourself focused, man, all right? Anything is possible, bro. Anybody, any of y'all can make it out here, man, for real. Happy early birthday, right? Early birthday, whoa! <laughs> nah, that's love, bro. I appreciate that. You guys have seen like where I grew up and my old childhood and everything else, but now it is time to see my beautiful New York City. Three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and a swimming pool. That's right, I have a swimming pool inside my home here in New York City. There's so much to unravel, there's so much to talk about, but the first thing that I have to mention, soon as you walk in, you're entered into the huge place. 18 foot ceilings, that is right. Like, stand back, I wanna give them perspective. Look at me compare to the freaking ceilings, dude. Like, this is insane. Me not even having furniture in this bitch, like, I just be happy as fuck. Like, I'm happy I can wake up here every single day, but when I do get my furniture, it's gonna be beautiful. I'm excited. Let's go over some of the, like, the grand features about this place. First and foremost, the fireplace, all right? We're here in New York City. Good to kind of snuggle up at night around the fireplace, like some modern times type shit, yeah. Another thing that I love about this home, of course, are these huge, windows all right cool thing about this is that remote control shades they come all the way down at any moment i can have like natural light come in or if i want to close it and i just want to have complete privacy i can just close my shade you know 
keep it private. As you can see over here in the dining room area, yes, you can see my pool. We're gonna get there, but let's keep going. Very modern. Uh, everything is very sleek, it's very minimal. As you can see, there's no handles literally on anything. So you have this nice Italian marble. Another thing this kitchen has, inside my condo, I have my own trash chute. I can throw my trash literally straight inside there. That just makes my life so much easier. And then right behind me, we have these Miele appliances, as you can see. Conventional ovens, I have one here, and then we also have one here. Also, we have the standard oven here as well. Nice Sub-Zero refrigerator, as you can see. I don't have shit in here. I eat out every single day. Not bad food. I like meal prep and stuff like that. I love this fridge. I love how everything is just integrated through the, the cabinets. It's all seamless. Right off the kitchen from the living room and the dining room area. The fun part. Let's go to my pool. Oh my God. Look at it. Take a look at this beauty. I have my own pool inside my condo in New York City. 20 foot long, four feet deep, salt water heated pool inside. Like this is crazy. The thing that I love about this pool is that even on rainy days, I can still be in the pool because of how it's constructed. We still have the high 18 foot ceilings, no rain, nothing can literally get inside. So I think that's probably the coolest thing about this pool. When I got this place, the only thing I could think about is just like time with my family here, time with my daughter here. How my daughter's gonna feel like growing up in this beautiful home. You know, just make, create great memories here. All right, so we head down this hallway. First bathroom in the house is right off the kitchen. This is perfect for when guests come over. And I actually didn't mention it. Floors are actually heated everywhere. So come right over here. Thermostat things where you can control the heating for the floor. So I can control the heating for the floors in the bathroom, in the kitchen, the living room, and in my bedroom. Off to the bathroom. Bathroom, you're gonna have your master bedroom right here off to the right. I'll show you guys this last. It's the fun part. We're gonna come right this way. So we have our two guest bedrooms back here. And then right here, we have our laundry space. I'm not gonna lie, I'm doing laundry right now. Right. Washer and dryer in here, which is awesome. So it just makes life a lot easier. It's the laundry room. You'll have our first guest bedroom. Every single bedroom has its own bathroom, which is absolutely amazing. Heated floors, you have this nice standing steam shower. Like if this was my bathroom, I'd be happy. But to be able to offer this to my guests, I think it's pretty freaking cool. Full big mirror, this nice standing shower. This is how you flush the toilet. This in my home, like this is, this is crazy. Off the bathroom, you walk in and you have this beautiful first bedroom. This is a pretty decent sized room and for it to have its own bathroom, I think it's pretty cool. Also, I wanna show you guys here, we have the closet space here, Ava's toys and her clothes. I got like some ski and snow gear up there. I like to snowboard, it's like one of my favorite things to do. And another thing, it has a balcony. This is huge, this balcony is absolutely huge. Uh, and it connects to the master bedroom. I'll show you guys that a little bit later, but you get to come out. Ah, you smell that. New York City, smell like ass. And then this is the second guest bedroom, and this one's actually even bigger. And just look at it, stay right there. Look, look how far. Look how huge, this, like, there's so much space, but come on in. First and foremost, you'll see you have the bathroom right here. This is where Malik chokes his chicken, right here in this bathroom. Very similar to the bathroom over here, you have the nice standing steam shower once again. It offers my guests the complete privacy. So when Malik is in here on XNXX, I have no idea because I'm on the other side of the house. Right off the bathroom, then we go into the second bedroom to step back. Look at this beauty. Probably one of my favorite bedrooms, honestly, because of how it just has like this really like cozy feeling to it. This one actually has like a lot bigger closet space. Hey, hold on, is that a pocket? Malik! 
I even put this big ass, big TV. And the reality game show house is playing. Make sure y'all go tune in. But this is the second bedroom. It is time to head to the master bedroom. Let's go. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, not, none of that stuff happens in here, but welcome! right here is the master bedroom. It is huge. This is how a king should live. Welcome to my master bedroom. First walk in, you are hit with this glass closet. Probably one of my most favorite things about this entire home is my closet. It allows me to like go through and grab certain shit. Ava gave me this book for Father's Day and uh, every time that she's here, we actually read this book before we go to sleep. Ah, this means so much to me. This was made by Julissa. If you don't know who Julissa is, I actually shaved my hair for her. She almost lost her life in a tragic accident and uh, she actually painted this. It's one of my favorite pieces of art. Jalissa, thank you so much for this. I really appreciate this. This is probably like 25% of the stuff that I even own or like that I have. The master bedroom, we have that same balcony that connects to the guest bedroom. So again, you have this nice, beautiful space right out here. You get to enjoy New York City. <sighs> Smells like bacon, egg, and cheeses. Let's go. Now it's time to show you guys the master bathroom. Probably one of the best bathrooms in the entire world. Look at this. Still staying with those consistency of the 18 foot ceilings inside your bathroom. Yes, you can literally see the pool from the bathroom. I think that's so cool. Like if I wanted to, I could actually jump from my bathroom into my pool. It's one of the coolest house concepts I've ever seen. This is the place to be. There's so much for me to unpack here. Let's have some fun. This glass door, as you can see, if you want, not necessarily privacy, but some space between the living space and the bathroom area. This is a smart toilet. If you don't, and they've never seen a smart toilet before, but there you go. Probably one of the best toilets I've ever laid my ass on. You got heated floors, you got a heated toilet. This toilet can do a lot of things, bro. I've had some very personal moments with this toilet. And just between me and him. Well, I mean, man, what the f this gay shit? Uh, you know, this man really whipped out his butt cheeks on the camera. This man is different. I can't tell you the things me and this toilet do. It's just between me and him. I keep saying him, I mean her. Yo, hey, yo. Then from the toilet, we have this freestanding tub here. I love it. I actually soak in this tub a lot with some Espen salt, you know, because I'm on my, my box and shit. Nice big glass mirror with these huge LED lights over here. Got the his and her sink. Probably the best bathroom I've ever been in, honestly. Right off this way, come right in so you can see standing. Just look at the amount of space that I have in here. I love it. I love the shower. I love every amenity. I love every single little detail about this home. They carefully thought of everything. You guys were probably wondering like, this has no privacy whatsoever. You're actually wrong. Actually, look at that. So look, you have shades inside your bathroom. These automated shades, they pull down. I can actually see a lot more outside than they can actually see in. Me having this home is all about like me being able to do something for my family. Create memories with my family here, see my daughter grow up here. That's what this is all about for me. So I'm thankful to be here. Thank you guys so much for supporting us, supporting our journey, because without you guys, none of this would even slightly remotely be possible. You guys are about to see Jasmine and Ava's reaction to seeing the place for the very first time. And uh, yeah, so before they get here though, Got the baby fresh out the plane. <laughs> you ready to see it? Look at Ava. Ava's ready. Is this real? <laughs> oh. I, 
gotta hurry because Ava's running your ass. Yeah, look, look at Ava. Look what's oh. behind you. Oh, Ava. There's a fool in our apartment. <laughs> oh my god. Our new house. This makes me so happy. It's my birthday, and I'm happy to be sharing a new home with my family. That is the best gift ever. That is the best gift ever. <laughs> Oh, we got the we got the bed on the floor and the family's just happy. This this is happiness right here. This is happiness. Where's my where's my happy birthday kiss? You didn't even tell me happy birthday. Where's my happy birthday kiss? Ava, I've never seen Ava this happy. Our favorite book. That's our nighttime book. That's our night night book. Mommy, help. I'm not helping. I'm too tired. Help. Go to sleep. <laughs>